Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Here's a subject that's near and dear to everyone's hearts. Memory. Uh, it seems that every 10 minutes in the chat room, someone asks a question related to RAM. And today, at 1.02 p.m., wild user 5872 was no exception. And uh, even though it was written in relatively broken English, I'm going to attempt to translate it uh, best I know how. He asks, hey guys, I need your opinion. I've got a 2 gig RAM right now, and I want to add one more 1 gig instead of 2 gig because 32-bit OS won't show the total 4 gig installed on system properties. Is it okay to add one more 1 gig? And uh, so it looks like we're dealing with a 32-bit OS, Windows most likely. Uh, and he's got 2 gigs of RAM in there right now, and he knows that 32-bit Windows can't see 4 gigabytes of RAM. Of course, what he may also not know is that it can't really see 3 gigabytes either, and he's probably going to be better off sticking with 2 gigs of RAM at this point in time. Now, that being said, if wild user 5872 wants to upgrade or try a 64-bit operating system on that machine, if it's capable of handling a 64-bit platform, um, at least in terms of software, I would recommend, sure, uh, adding another stick of RAM. Now, even though you can mix and match RAM so long as certain parameters are in line, uh, I'd never really recommended it. Uh, just because even though one manufacturer may be this and another manufacturer may be this, but everything else is the same, um, people run into issues, not just because of quality, uh, but certainly because of the, the way it was manufactured and a whole range of, of headaches that is really introduced when you mix brands of memory despite the numbers being completely equal. And for that reason and that reason alone, um, my recommendation is when you upgrade your RAM and you add more RAM to your system, Make sure you find out what kind of RAM is in your system if you're adding to it, or if you're if you're going to replace the RAM all out. Well, then you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, you just basically replace the RAM uh, a whole whole hog, uh, and then you're just dealing again with the same manufacturer of RAM. Uh, depending again on what kind of RAM you install. I mean, it's it can be kind of sticky. RAM isn't as easy as it used to be. I mean, it's relatively simple to install. Um, nine times out of ten, you just open her up. Clip it in, and you're done. Um, the system should recognize the, the memory almost instantaneously uh, in, in many cases, in most cases. And again, this is just for the, uh, uh, the average user. Of course, I'm not even going to go into all the details of what RAM versus uh, what RAM versus this RAM versus that RAM. Uh, it's just more an issue of this user really not needing much more than 2 gigabytes if he's got a 32-bit operating system, and specifically if that 32-bit OS is Windows. Uh, money doesn't always equate to better. That is 110% correct. Always check the stats. Sometimes you can find cheaper RAM with comparable stats to that of Corsair or Kingston. Um, you know, in, in terms of finding quality uh, and saving money, I would rather save money and get quality at the same time. Uh, I tend not to cheap out when it comes to hardware. Uh, that's not always been the case, uh, but... I can tell you that um, sometimes you get what you pay for uh, with hardware. I'm of that mindset. With software, sometimes you don't always get what you pay for. Hardware, uh, you usually do. It's not, uh, again, that's a pretty blanket statement, but uh, those are my perspectives on RAM and, and this user situation as well as what happens or the route you should take when you go to upgrade the RAM in your system. Certainly, it'll give you a speed boost so long as your operating system can take advantage of it. I am just so happen to be upgrading my RAM for my MacBook Pro sponsored by, I believe, Blue Factory or BlueSkyFactory.com. So if you go, what is Mac in our chat room, it'll respond. Uh, yep, BlueSkyFactory.com sponsored the 17-inch MacBook, and I'm going from 2 gigabytes of RAM to 4 gigabytes. That stick, or those two sticks of 2 gigabytes each will be arriving tomorrow morning. The FedEx person will knock on the door at around 10.30 and say, here's your memory upgrade, and I'll say, thanks. And so I will take the memory out of this system entirely and then just uh, plop in uh, two different sticks entirely and uh, come up with a, it should be a much more responsive system. Going from 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes does have noticeable improvements in the benchmarks that have been done, at least with OS 10, because OS 10 is 64-bit as well as 32-bit and handles it a lot better than Windows ever tried to. I mean, it's, it makes Windows 
64-bit kind of look like a joke, in my opinion, in terms of the ease of use and the, the invisibility for the average user. They just know that, hey, if you install 4 gigabytes of RAM inside a Mac that's capable of handling that much, then you're going to see the performance benefit from it. Anyway, uh, what do you think about installing RAM, and do you have any tips or tricks or ideas about how to go about doing it? I mean, do you recommend mixing brands? I mean, maybe I'm crazy for thinking that, but uh, that's, I don't know. I've always heard nightmare stories of people who've tried to do that and have failed in weird and strange ways. Weird and strange. If it, those two aren't necessarily the same. All right, if you're feeling weird and strange, uh, come on, stop by the chat room. There are weird and strange people in here all the time, day in, day out. Oh, mixing brands, blue screens on PC. Yeah, see, I told you. And uh, hopefully you won't blue screen if you come by our chat room. Uh, we're here all the time. Uh, ben R is word, which is weird without the I. I am weird without the E. Anyway, we'll, we'll see you soon at live.perillo.com. See you later.